Okay, guys, in this episode, Rick Hogg of Warhog is going to talk about one handed pistol shooting and how to incorporate that into a working dog. Hey guys, Rick Hogg with Warhog Tactical. We're out here in South Mississippi again, where whoo, it's getting hot. But you know what? That's all right. On this episode of Trigger Time TV, we're going to talk about one-handed shooting. Why is this important? Because especially when I'm working that canine, more than likely for me, he's on my left-hand side. I'm a right-handed shooter. I might have to control him. Some officers only have leashes. And again, this is where it's important to understand I've got to have that good one-handed shooting skills. So I want to start by using a building block methodology, right? So we're going to do some just dry fire training just to show you what we're looking to do. So first thing is my pistol is clear. And what I want to do is just show some draw from the holster. So again, a technique that works for me is I've got the dog here. My hand's going to come down. I draw my pistol and you'll notice my left or excuse me, my right foot is going to make a step forward. So that way I'm, I'm in this position if I had to shoot. Again, there's different ways that you can do. You can either put your arm, some guys will go straight out, some will bend their elbow a little bit, or some will sit there and have a slight cant. So it's kind of up to you which technique will work, but you definitely got to try each one of those. So for me, whenever I'm teaching my students or, or any of my guys, I do an administrative load. So what we're looking to do on our load is we'll sit there, we'll draw our pistol just like we would. It's pointing in a safe direction. I get one draw, I'm going to lock the, the slide to the rear, I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna get my magazine out. I get another presentation and then I'm gonna come back, do my Warhog check. Yep, there's a round in the chamber, I'm good to go. And then I can holster. So at this point, all I'm gonna do is just practice some draws and just single shots. So I'm getting used to working that one-handed shooting. So I'm here, I come down, I draw, present the pistol and fire. And you notice the nice thing with this Archon pistol where it's a low bore axis, especially for one-handed shooting, it helps me keep that recoil there. So I'm just gonna practice a couple more. holster. Now I want to progress because here's the thing. I'm going to have something such as a canine with me. So I got to have some weighted material there. So this is where it comes important when I'm doing all this. Now I've got my weight. I've got a couple boxes of defender ammo in here. Just gives me some weight. Now I draw. I'm good to go. And again, it just gets me used. And so whether I want to sit there and move, it just helps me with that. Just a different tool you can use. So what we're going to do, Duco, here, come here, Bob, yeah, brav. So we've had Duco off in the background. Now I'm going to sit there, bring Duco up. So again, I'm looking to work one-handed shooting with my canine. If you look at here, I've got my Warhog loop leash. I take my carabiner, hook it right to the handle. Now I can come right around, clip it in over my duty equipment. Now I have it in, now I'm good to go. So now I can work my one-handed shooting with him. So here's the thing, I can, I've got him here. You can notice he's pulling a little bit. I have that little low leash. I can draw her out. I can sit there and fire. Or if I've got to move with him, Duke a foost. And you notice he wants to pull. So now I've got to stay focused. Good. And while we're training, I can sit there just like we did neutral gunfire. I can give him a reward to go, good boy. Hey, bud. Yeah, brav. Super, huh? Give him another snack here. Boom, there you go. So the last thing I want to show you, the, you can use the loop leash for going around. The last thing, if you were in a pinch, I could also run one of my arms through the sleeve. I have it here. And now if I had to go two-handed, now I could, and in essence, still do business. So again, a couple tips on how to uh, fire one-handed by yourself and with the, uh, with the canine. This is Rick Hogg with Warhawk Tactical out there and uh, we'll hopefully see you out in the range.